This is a new construction site of an arcade which is being erected on one of the plots that initially were part of the old tax park. Workers on this site are reported to be working throughout the night to have the structure completed. However, the haste and hurry remain a matter of suspicion. In an interview with the Lord Mayor, Arias Nukwago, whose operations remain a bone of legal contention, says this is the beginning of mushrooming and lawful shopping arcades. There are lots of shady deals, lots of dubious transactions being executed by those very people in KCCA and the so-called tycoons. And all these movements you see, the antics, the machinations, they are all intended to hoodwink Ugandans that there is development going on in the old taxi parks, whereas they are paving way for these so-called tycoons to take over and grab that land. I have concrete evidence on this. The dilemma here stems from a government directive to have the management of the taxi parks in the city under KCCA and police. There is a sinister motive behind that. They are trying to put up a, a, a kind of a facade, a picture of development. When Utoda was evicted, there is even a document that was issued by Madame Jennifer Semakrams that from today onwards, KCC shall take charge of the taxi parks. And indeed, she went ahead to appoint, uh, to handpick a team which was never even vetted or approved by the authority. Now, two years down the road, you hear another takeover. When you have been, the very people who have been in charge of the taxi parks, so the question which is lingering on my mind, which is, the question which is not answered up to now, and I want to pose it to those who are masquerading, I want to ask them, is it Kaihura or Jennifer who is going to take charge, direct control of the taxi parks? So if it's going again to be through proxies, where is the change? The taxi drivers operating now live in panic of the nearing extinction of their daily source of income. In the meeting between the president and the taxi operators, the president is reported to have ordered the Kampala Capital City Authority to have all tycoons owning prime plots in the old taxi park compensated. However, Lukwago says that all city tycoons who own plots here in the old taxi park have no authentic judgment to justify their ownership of the plots in question. There is no clear record on how these transactions were executed. They were just deals, shady deals, shady deals. They were done clandestinely. No, they didn't comply with the procurement processes. And there is nothing that you can enforce when it is rooted in fraud. So the fraud they perpetrated has caught up with them now. Because even if you were to talk about the compensation, none of these people, the so-called tycoons, will produce a receipt on how much to prove how much they paid. Just ask one person like Mandela or Chirumira or any other person who came to have bought land there. Let them produce receipts. They spent colossal sums of money in kickbacks. And that cannot be atoned for, can't, can't be compensated for. But Kampala Capital City Authority spokesperson Peter Kawuchu denies commenting on the matter, claiming that it would be contempt of court since many of the tycoons owning plots in the old taxi park have sued the authority on the matter. But with this structure coming up here, court is reported to have cleared the owner to commence with the building of the shopping arcade. There are also some other a few plots where there is uh, an ongoing court process. We shall await the outcome of, uh, of the court as a law-abiding entity. And uh, in the meantime, we are planning for the area that is free of uh, any encumbrance. In spite of these fracas playing out between the authority and the tycoons in the courts of law, the government is reported to be in negotiations with the Lord Mayor geared at having him reoccupied.